protecting the football and if you're a defense trying to turn it over and uh, they've done that so well and so we obviously feel a need to protect the football as we always do but just when you're going against a team as good as they are in defense of taking it away just having a heightened sense of awareness of the need to you know not not give them that uh, whenever possible Kirk how close or how much did you consider going to the Jets during free agency earlier this year yeah I mean it was a it was a process of you know two and a half months of trying to research once and really once I found out my former team the Redskins was out was out um, it was probably a month and a half of trying to gather information on all those teams that were still looking for a quarterback and so you know for a month and a half I was really trying to dive into coaching staffs rosters um, and the whole nine yards there was a, there was a New York Post column a day or two ago they were pretty critical of you saying that that video that you put out looked like you just kind of used the Jets for leverage to get the Vikings offer. Any thoughts on that? Any validity to what they're saying there? Well, criticism is going to be a part, especially, you know, when you're going into an opposing team's, you know, media climate. You know, they're going to find ways to criticize. And, you know, that show it was meant to, you know, show the, the journey and meant to show, you know, how impressed I've been with the Minnesota Vikings. You know, it was not meant to be a, a slight to anybody else. You know, this is the NFL. Every team is, is run well, has great coaches. I have tremendous respect for Coach Bowles. I've played against him, and he's uh, had my lunch a couple times. And um, Jeremy Bates, our offensive corner, is a phenomenal coach and play caller. He's doing a great job this year. So, um, you know, the, the Vikings, it was really meant to show the Vikings as, as a great fit for us and, and nothing more. You know, I think uh, one thing that I noticed in looking at the roster this week is how much, you know, they've added players in free agency. So when I was looking at their roster, it, it's not factoring that in. So there's a lot of change, and then there's injuries. And so, uh, as we know, there's so much turnover in the NFL that it is a little hard to uh, take a snapshot in February or March and, and feel like it's still going to be the same in October of the following year. What was the name of the pitch, though? 